My name is Brian. And I'm James. Hey, we're here today to continue the conversation. Uh, earlier we had a blog where we talked about uh, the DIY well builders right. for small and medium sized businesses. Um, I think part of this conversation that we want to talk about is while those are excellent solutions, um, here are some, maybe some reasons why come to someone like Street Level Studio to help with that, you know, because right. we kind of elevate some of that experience. Many of these well builders offer, you know, a multitude of themes, you know. Yeah. Generally, they fit kind of what industry you're in. Uh, and that's really a clear advantage because it's easier for you to go in, you know, you can kind of see exactly what it'll look like. But a disadvantage is sometimes, you know, your site may show up like, you know, someone else's. Like, for instance, let's say you're a rib shop, right? And you go in and you pick a food theme. Um, there's, a pot, there's a probability that your rib shop um, may look like someone else's, exactly. you know? So that, you know, it's, it can be a disadvantage, you know, particularly if you're trying to establish your brand, you're trying to set yourself and establish yourself, you know, kind of as, as a leader with that industry that you're right. in. Yeah, and while these uh, web builders do allow for a certain amount of customization uh, kind of through the uh, through the interface uh, to really get that personal look uh, to, to your brand uh, you really do have to start to dig into some of the behind the scenes code uh, because uh, obviously they position them as low cost of ownership right. um, ease of use um, but sure. there's still some skill sets you know that we've had over the years like within our own experiences you know that help augment and and bring that brand to life you know, so sometimes just pick starting with a theme is not necessarily a bad thing. The thing is, how do you, you know, you take your theme and you make it different. You know, it speaks, you know, your language, it speaks to your people. Uh, another point for these DIY builders, uh, thinking about getting a little more custom with them. Right. Uh, a lot of our clients, uh, as they start to grow, look for custom applications on their website. Uh, I can think of a couple of examples. Uh, one of our clients requested a uh, pool table customizer where you could basically change out the, the cloth color on the pool table, the legs, the finish on the pool table, and that's just not something you'll find in these DIY web builders. That is a custom application that requires uh, custom programming. Yeah. Um, another client requested that uh, uh, what they call a brochure maker uh, where it assembles product uh, specification sheets all into one combined PDF uh, uh, so that that can then be downloaded by the uh, by the website visitor. Yeah. And again, that's a type of application that you don't find out of the box in any of these DIY web builders. And actually, I would argue that it would be hard to integrate with any of these DIY web builders. Yeah. It might be a time to move to a more enterprise level platform. Yeah. So with these DIY web builders, uh, you know, they're marketed as being quick and easy to use, that you can get a website up and running in 15 minutes right. kind of thing. Right, right. But when you really sit and think about it, to get a quality website up and running, there's a lot that goes into it. And I know we touched upon this in our first post a little bit, but there are uh, there's a lot of production that you have to really think about. Uh, you know, photography, copywriting, uh, uh, branding assets, uh, those kind of things. Uh, getting all those in place uh, and having quality materials is also something that you as uh, the person that will be producing the site perhaps uh, need to come up with. So it, it's there's a lot more than 15 minutes that goes into putting up these sites. Again, how valuable is your time? And while DIY again position themselves as, yes, you can do it, right. the question is, you know, in most cases, should you? You know, because if you're the business owner or you're the director of the marketing of a marketing group or you're running a marketing team, that's really where your focus should be. You know, because sometimes you get so you can get so bogged down in understanding the platform, putting in your picture, you know, putting in some headlines that you forget about the overall strategy, right. you know, of the website. Like what is it supposed to do? You know, is it meeting those goals? Yeah, is there is there a funnel? Are you driving to the are, are you driving the user to the end end result that you want? Right. You know, are they to purchase a product or to fill out a form to some sort of call to action that type of thing? Right. You're keeping that in mind. Right. And then you know while the the forms are kind of standard, um, you know those are are specific types of functionalities may, which may not even be in the theme you have. Right. They may not work the way you want. They may not have the text fields that you need. You know, so when you read when you receive you know the feedback you know from a visitor or someone giving you comments 
it, it, you may not get what you want, but, you know, because the form itself, you know, it's kind of static, it's easily built, it gives you that functionality, but it may not align to like what your brand needs. Right. Right. You know, as a business owner, you know, you really should be focused, you know, kind of kind of on running your business. Um, and, you know, obviously our value that we can bring, you know, uh, from an agency standpoint is that, you know, we can go in and do the heavy lifting, you right. know, we can create the site and give it the experience you know, that you need, um, you know, because one of the things that's important here is making sure you understand the value of your website, right? It's not, it's just not, you know, a PowerPoint deck, another piece of collateral. An I online mean, brochure, it, right. it's there to be a part of the experience for the for the consumer, really, uh, right. getting to know your brand. Right? right, right. One of the things that we know that's important uh, from the standpoint of, of your website, you know, is from a strategy standpoint, mm -hmm. making sure that the design and the functionality attracts the type of visitors and customers right. that, you know, that fit the needs of your business, you know, because there's, there's you know, it's, it's good to put pretty pictures up there, uh, but the pictures also have to serve, you know, a way to making sure that you're, you're talking to people that you want to talk to, you know, because we're all busy, you know, so you want to make sure that you know, the people you're talking to, you know, are kind of, it's almost like a lead generation. You know, these are the folks that are there, um, you know, because they fit the model of your business, you know, so that's a, that's also important. That's a great point, yeah. So well, I think the one thing we kind of want to close with is, uh, you know, to, to those who are, you know, are, you know, have a DIY site or looking to build a DIY Considering site. A right. Um, I mean, if you have a question, um, if you're looking to elevate the look and feel or you're looking for, you know, some guidance or recommendations, you know, give us a call here right. at Street Level Studio. You know, we have a team just just more than willing to help. Yeah. You know, we'd love we, to sit down with you and, yes. and, and talk to you about this and weigh out the options, help you weigh those out and see if we can be a fit for, for working with you. Up top. Up Good top. top. Yeah.